quality time at home. Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and I work for the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. Today we're going to be reading The Zoo in the Sky by Jacqueline Mitten, pictures by Christina Ballett. The Zoo in the Sky is one of my very favorite books to read, and there are actually a lot of different stories in here, so we're just going to read a few. If you're interested in reading and hearing more about these stories, you should definitely check out this book. And actually, this is one of my favorite books to read because we read it in some of our Girl Scout programs when we learn about the constellations, the sky, and all about outer space. The Zoo in the Sky by Jacqueline Mitten, pictures by Christina Ballett. When the sun sets, darkness falls. The stars appear one by one. Then the sky turns to a picture puzzle. What is hiding in the patterns of stars? Some people say they only see squares and squiggles, lines and loops. But imagine hard and the sky comes to life. The star patterns make a wing here, a tail there, a twinkling eye, even a scorpion stinger. Sky watchers long, long ago imagined a whole zoo of animals. They shine there still when you are under the magic spell of the nighttime sky. Do you all see some pictures that they were talking about? I see a wing here and a tail. The great bear. Do you see all these bears here? I don't know any bears that have really long tails like that, do you? The great bear quietly pads her way around the north pole of the sky. Every day she makes the trip. Two bright stars across her back point straight to Polaris, the north star. Hanging off Polaris by his tail, the little bear swings around behind her. You won't see bears quite the same anywhere else. Real live bears don't have long tails. Can you see where Polaris might be? Countless stars light the Milky Way. Along this silvery path with wings outstretched flies the swan. On July and August nights, he soars from east to west across the sky. It takes him from dusk until dawn. His eyes gleam with a twin star, yellow and blue, called Albiro. He needs a good eye to keep a sharp lookout. The cunning fox runs beneath him, looking for his dinner. Can you see where Albiro is? The scorpion has a nasty sting in his tail. Beware as he scuttles across the Milky Way. His tail is curved around and he is waving his fearsome claws. Antares, a blood red star, glows at his heart. But the wolf nearby is not afraid. After all, he is not such a friendly creature himself. Leo the lion is king of the beasts and lord of the sky. In February and March, he looks down from a throne high up in the heavens. Stars in his mane shine like jewels in a crown. His brightest star lies close to his heart. That star's name is Regulus, which means the little king. That's pretty appropriate for a lion, don't you think, since he's king of all the animals? The great dog is chasing the hare, but knows he can never catch it. This dog is a splendid, star-studded creature. His brightest star, Sirius, outshines all others in the night sky. Sirius means scorching one, a good name for a white hot star. But spot it low in the sky and Sirius flashes all the colors of the rainbow, like a diamond glinting in the sunlight. Well, that's a really pretty star. Do any of you have a favorite star that you know of?
The whale is the greatest of all living creatures. He is one of the largest in the sky too. A monstrous size, he is sometimes called the sea monster. On the whale's back, you can find Mira, the marvelous star. See how red it glows by his fin? Mira keeps dimming until it disappears, and then little by little, it brightens once more. About a year later, it's back, bright as ever, only to fade again. The long scaly body of the crimson-eyed dragon coils around the north pole of the heavens. Take care, he might breathe fire. You won't find a dragon like him in an ordinary zoo. But the starry sky is magic, and one fine sparkly night, who knows, you just might fall under its spell. Hmm, why wouldn't we find a dragon like this in a zoo? What do you guys think? But it is very pretty. I wish we could find a dragon. Wasn't that a great book? I hope you guys had a much fun listening to it as I did reading it. And I hope you learned a lot too. Have a great day. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Org to find out more.